Okay, this video demonstrates how to create a project and wh what the what the various interface items mean and how to edit. So we're going to create a new project. This is I'm going to call this Smuggler Audio and uh, the audio. Call this smuggler two and a project, and we will uh, use that. So in, in smuggler we have English, Danish, French, Norwegian. Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Swedish, German. I think that's it. Okay, so we'll let's create the project. It brings up the add audio dialog. So we're going to add directories. So we'll click. We'll click the new button and then it'll bring up a dialog to to ask uh, where that you know, is. So we're on English, so we'll select that. Okay. I don't think we need to be recursive, so we'll do French, new. French, German, create a new one, oops, okay, and we'll just, we'll stop there. So now it's rolling through those. So it's showing me English, German. If we did uh, just English or, or just German. I'm sorry. We did German and French and English. We see, we'll see all. I'm sorry. This is a filter, and so it shows you. Basically, it'll show you what. Uh, language. So let's just work on English for now. Okay. So we'll open up. This and what this means is this turns out it already has an ano file associated with it, but it, initially these will come up. There won't be an ano file in there. So then we double click on it to edit it. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me, friend! You're on Kabaya. It's the jail capital of the Polaris galaxy. Well, at least it was until Emperor Tachyon shut down the plant. Okay. So in this case, we've we've already got a lip synced file, but what you do is this you have your English language here lip sync with text and then when you're done this is just a this is a marker for you but you can go through here and say okay I finished this one I finished and checked it that's just a visual for you to know that you've done some work on that file uh, or that you validated it uh, to work on to work in the German so these already have ano files too, but I'm going to demonstrate that anyway. So what important for German here is that we need for German text-based lip sync, we have to come down here and select the language German before we perform the text the lip sync with text. And I'll just demonstrate. If we we change that back to English, lip sync with text, it sort of works, but it's not great. Okay, so changing it back to German. Okay, and 
basically I say okay well, that's okay so I'll select that and you can run through and do this with all your languages batching provides a mechanism to uh, after you create your project you can just kick it off overnight and it will uh, perform the work but that's only included with the SDK so that's not with a with a regular five hundred dollar lip sync tool license batching isn't included you can go back in and add audio to project after your project is done project settings brings up the same dialogue that you saw before you can make changes change the character etc after after you've created it change the name uh, you can add more audio uh, English you know French we can come in here and Italian we didn't do that one remember languages are only important for text-based lip sync Textless lip sync is just it's language independent, so you don't need to mess with that if you're just doing text based textless lip sync. Okay, so now I should go in here and I can say filter by uh, Italian, and I should see my Italian video. There it is. Okay. Okay, your recent projects will show you what you've opened. You can it's like a recent file menu. You can go in and recent projects. Open up this one. Uh, I've made changes to project. Yeah, you do want to save those changes. Now it's now it's loading up my my VO, which apparently I'm filtering by Turkish. So there's there's your English my English audio. Uh, so that's basic navigation working with projects.